What's up, my friend? Welcome back to another video. And today, I just wanted to share with you a technology that I think is really revolutionizing the sample library world as we know it. Uh, not long ago, you know, sample libraries responded to our playing and that's all they did, you know? Like they, they have great performances, they have great scripting, but the nuance and the subtle details in those sample libraries were always lacking, you know, and compared to real players, there, there's just a night and day difference. So this technology really is making up that difference and allowing our performances in our sample libraries to sound that much more realistic. And it adds that nuance that we just didn't get before. So before I tell you what it is, I want you to kind of maybe guess what it might be. I have talked about it on the channel before. So maybe think about what, what it could be, and then I'll reveal it in just a second. But before we do that, uh, I do love sample libraries in general, though, you know, even though this technology has only existed for a short while, traditional sample libraries do still sound great for the most part. And if you're ever interested in my favorites, the ones I recommend on a daily basis and the ones that I use regularly for my own work, that I want to give you that resource completely free. It's called my Sample Library Buyer's Guide. Um, it's the first link in the description box if you want to download it. And it essentially, it's a collection of all my favorite libraries. I've also added the prices in there and I've added the utilities as well. So you know how to use those libraries and it's categorized by the different sections. So like strings, winds, brass, and percussion. There's also jazz libraries, ethic libraries, a whole bunch of other stuff. And it's all comprehensive, but super easy to read as well. So I want to give it to you as a gift for watching this video. Again, you can download it by cl clicking the first link in the box below to grab it. Okay, so you have your guess? Great. We'll reveal in three, two, one. And it is the star Smart Delay. Wow, I messed that up. It's the Smart Delay by Straight Ahead Samples, okay? So they call it the new standard instrument series. And essentially, th the way this works is... Um, just before we read a little bit about it, um, it introduces a four beat delay, which allows the script or the engine inside the instrument to uh, analyze your, your performance. It analyzes the, the MIDI notes, like how loud they are, the velocities, how long they are, the lengths of the notes as well, everything like that. And it takes four beats to category, or sorry, analyze it, and then spits back out a much more realistic performance compared to if you were just to play that same line in real time. In a nutshell, that's essentially what it does. So here on the website, let's just kind of see what they describe it as. So the three main additions in the new standard uh, method of sampling are different lengths of notes. So nine different lengths of notes per note. Okay, that's the first thing. So lots of different variations per note. Then there's legato in and out of every note. So not only going from one note to the other, but also ending that note, basically ending that note and then connecting to another new note. Um, I think that's what it means. But yeah, that, that's pretty cool as well. And the number three is they recorded different samples for where they are in the phrase. Um, so this is especially for like jazz playing style. So if they're playing like a swing line, for example, the way they play a certain note is going to be a lot different than if it were at the beginning of the phrase or the end of the phrase, right? So yeah, there, there's basically, I think it's 2000 samples per note, per sampled note, which is insane. But the fact that they, they spent the time to do this and really scripted it the, the way they do allows you to get these realistic results. So let me quickly show you what this is and, uh, yeah. Let, let me let me just quickly demonstrate this. So what I've pulled up here is the Eminent Trombone, which is one of their horn libraries. They started with Birth of the Trumpet, then they went to Tenor Colossus, then the Eminent Trombone. So those are kind of the three main horns in the big band. Then we have the clarinet, and now we have the Atomic Big Band. Um, so here we have the Eminent Trombone, and you can see there's two modes. There's real time, which is what usually sample libraries are made of. And then we have smart delay, which is the smart technology. Let me quickly play you a line in real time and you'll hear how trombones, especially in the jazz idiom, typically sound. So not bad, right? Like this, the sound is there, the overall uh, connection there is there, right? We're on the legato articulation, but they have a whole bunch of other ones as well with special effects, true to jazz playing. But it doesn't sound quite real because there's that that nuance, that, that swing feel is just not there in the samples, right? So how do we actually achieve that? Well, we turn on smart delay. Now, watch this. I'm going to play some stuff in. I'm going to leave the keyboard sounds a bit. And there's going to be a four beat delay depending on what your BPM of your, of your session is. And then we're going to uh, hear what the engine spits out and it's going to sound a lot more realistic. So let's try it out. 
Yeah, it, it's it's just a night and day difference. It's it's incredible. Like, I have no idea what's going on behind the scenes, obviously, because we haven't done the scripting ourselves. But that four beat delay is so so worth it, especially in this style where it's so hard to capture all those nuances. Um, this type of library is like it just came out of left field, honestly, for me. When Birth of the Trumpet came onto the scene, I was just um basically blown away and each of their subsequent libraries has essentially refined the smart delay concept and improved it ever since. So naturally the question then becomes, well, how would this technology sound with orchestral instruments, right? So a lot of people on VI control are asking, well, how about strings? How about trying this on flutes or, you know, uh, uh, other instruments like brass and, and other things like that. And at the time of this recording, I think they're actually uh, working on those sorts of libraries in terms of the, the rest of the jazz spectrum. So jazz flutes, solo uh, soprano sax, uh, more instruments like that to round out the jazz orchestra. But then going into the orchestral territory, it's a little bit trickier because you also have to take into account the room sound. So the larger the room is, the hall is, uh, the more of those reflections you kind of get, and it might kind of interfere with the way the script actually works. So you might get some artifacts there. Um, but yeah, in general, with a really dry context, um, these, these, this script and these instruments work really, really well. And then the Atomic Big Band is essentially a culmination of the smart delay technology and refinements up to this point. So this really is truly innovative. Again, just think about uh, like even a few years ago, we did not have a technology like this that essentially analyzes our performance, takes a few beats to kind of um, see what it what it's comprised of, all the different velocity nodes again, like how long they are, how long the phrase is, your, the way you ride the mod wheel, all of that stuff. Reads it all, then spits out the performance that sounds at least like 90% of the way that you hear it in your head. Like that, that type of technology just did not exist. This library literally is like a mind reader in a way. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. It, it's just insane. Um, That's the stuff that we have available at our disposal today. And you know, other companies are now, are now starting to incorporate this type of thing. One that comes to mind is uh, Tokyo Scoring Strings by Impact Soundworks. I believe they also have like a, a delay compensation type of thing, or it's delay delay uh, you know plugin within the the patches that allows the the script to kind of read your performance and then create a more realistic line. And yeah, other companies are kind of working on this concept as well, which is really cool. <clears throat> so yeah, the, it's a really easy thing to use. Like you just play your line in in real time, then you take the MIDI region, you move it back four beats in your DAW, and then turn on Smart Delay, and then you'll get this result. And it, yeah, I, I just can't wait to see how this technology is applied, first of all, to the rest of the jazz orchestra, which again is one of the hardest genres to capture well and realistically, and then expanding that out to the rest of the orchestral lineup and maybe other instruments as well that typically sound the best live, well, typically all of them do, but then really start to sing well in sample land. So super happy about this, this type of technology and big props to Straight Ahead Samples for you know, putting this together and continuing to refine the process. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Like, have you encountered this type of technology before these libraries from Straight Ahead Samples? Or did this kind of, um, you know, take you aback and, and surprise you in a good way like it did with me? Or does it not really surprise you? Like maybe maybe you expect the samples to sound like this all along and maybe, you know, when this came along, you're like, ah, this is what it should have been like, you know? <laughs> Let me, let me know, comment below your thoughts on that. Like how, how, how this technology kind of makes you feel 
about samples in general. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And again, if you're interested in my personal thoughts and my favorites uh, in terms of sample libraries and what I use on a day-to-day -day basis, again, I want to give you my sample library buyer's guide. It's 100% free. If you want to click the first link in the box below, it'll take you straight there where you can grab it. And you can think of it as my gift to you for watching this video. Again, it contains all my recommendations. So if you're on the market for a new library, let's say a string library, and you're curious about my thoughts on it, it might be in there. And you'll also see the price in there and what it would be used for in my case or my application. So again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next video and take care. Bye-bye.